had this moment where I was at college and I realised that I didn't want to be at school anymore. So I went to see my mum and dad and I said, I, I want to leave school. And they're like, what are you going to do? And I was like, I'm going to start a t-shirt company. You know, if I'd have left and said, I'm, I don't know, I'm going to smoke weed and, I don't know, scratch my balls for a year or whatever, they'd be like, nope, not having it. But because I wanted to do something, they've said, yeah, fine, you can do it. As long as you're doing something. I always planned to be just a resourceful, starving artist. I would go and do my completely unrelated job to make money to fund my physical computing work or something. And the, the present has been very kind to me. You know what, somewhere near the end of my seven years of college when I got that internship, I started really enjoying it. And that's around the time I moved to Austin, Texas as well. I had a buddy who said, you know what, they're paying VV script developers out here. I was like, what? I was like, I'm moving to Austin. <laughs> well, I always liked painting and drawing and things, so um, I, I, it was a natural thing. I didn't know it could be a job though. I didn't know you could make money out of it. I didn't know you could survive doing it. And it's not really a job, really. but. Um, yeah, I just kind of bumbled my way and I got lucky a lot along the way. I think there was a moment that Pete and I had quite recently. I just walked into work, I sat down and I started reading a book about uh, Russian mythology. And I looked over at Pete and he was just doing a little doodle. We had some nice music on in the background and I was like, wow, this is actually heaven. <laughs>